Just about ready. First leg of today's place accumulator. They're set and they're off and racing. An enchanting lady took a bad step at the start and was uh, not well away. And I can tell you that Royana has stumbled also out of the gates and was very slow away. Well, despite enchanting lady nearly coming down at the start, she's rushed off to the front to take it up from Dow Solo second. Northern Kitten races third. Scarlet Winter in Paris is in close quarters too. Behind that is Silent Fantasy, the red cap. Quite a long way back to Blue Quartz and Rayana as well way, way back in the in her first start today as they head on down inside the final 600 metres. Enchanting Lady, the leader by two lengths from Dow Solo in second. Northern Kitten, the outside. Winter in Paris is stoked along behind those. And further back behind that is Silent Fantasy and then came Scarlet as they head on down inside the final 350 metres. Enchanting Lady has a race on her hands because Dow Solo's moved up down the inside. Three lengths away to Winter in Paris and then came on the outside Northern Kitten but it's now Dow Solo with 150 to pick it up the lead here from second Enchanting Lady. And Dow Solo's going on for the win today. And it's going to be Dow Solo to win it. Second placing Northern Kitten's going to flash up late for second. Enchanting Lady does enough for third. And fourth will go to Blue Quartz. Then came further back behind those Scarlet and fifth. Gates today, she did drift accordingly in the market. So victory will go to number one, Dow Solo. She's out the maiden ranks. A three-year-old Bay Philly by oratorio she's out of the sale from seattle mayor rasta dow bred by dr marion thompson's ambient stud and picks up her maiden win in her sixth start she ended up two rand 70 a win and if it is to be believed number two enchanting lady ended up the tote favorite but that doesn't matter too much because there were no scratchings in the uh, third race anyway so one Dow solo wins at second confirming to number five northern kitten uh, run second under trent mayhew third will go to enchanting lady and a pleasing debut from blue courts had to finish into that fourth spot Welcome back. Well, yes, uh, last week, rather, it was a uh, race earlier. It was race number two that uh, Mr. Gates partnered a uh, Tony Peter horse uh, to a victory. That was Bob in uh, the colours of Glistian, a nominee, Mr. Joe DeMarta. This afternoon, it's uh, race three, and a horse that has had everybody putting their hair out, even people like myself who have no hair, pulled a little bit out, and uh, Tony's uh, removing the tongue. I seem to have done the trick. Yeah, um, look, I think all thanks has to go to Mr. Peter. Um, these horses of, of my sponsor went to Tony, you know, and all, uh, all, all of them, you know, came in good condition, but Mr. Peter worked on them, and, you know, all of them, they, uh, this filly, she, I mean, she has, uh, today has her first winner, but she's been running in the money, you know, and consistently, you know, putting in an effort. Um, yeah, just a big well done to my sponsors, Viscon, and, um, yeah, I, I hope there's many more to come. Now, please tell me you've picked up a chance ride or two with the confidence you're riding and all these guys absent. Don't tell me that this is your only ride off the up. And I know how bad at the back has been scratched. Yes, it's, uh, it's uh, unfortunately, I couldn't pick up any more. This was my only ride for the day. I did have one in the last that was scratched. I also thought I had a bit of a chance. But, um, yeah, you know, it's the same as last time, one in, one out. <laughs> now, you know what they say, you snooze, you lose. So you've got to be on your feet, mate. hundred percent. No, but I wish you well and continue riding with confidence and the chances will come their way. Thanks so much. Just a big thanks again to Mr. Peter and them. Thank you so much, Mr. Peter. It seems maybe the trick has worked. Would you say, would you put it down to your uh, stroke of genius eh? Yeah, sure. This filly's made a fool out of me. Uh -huh. The way she works at home, you'd think she's a, a quite a decent filly and she couldn't win her maidens. She kept on, every race there was something, uh, she either swallowed her tongue or she hung and the bit slid through her mouth. There was always something, but I'm just so happy that I could get the win under the belt. I've been under immense pressure to win uh, for Mr. Chetty. They're really lovely people and... You know, I, I said, even if I have to pick the horse up and put it over the line, today it has to win because I, I've just been uh, very unlucky with them. But um, please, God, the form's changed. And uh, this filly looks like she'll win another couple. She, she won really nicely today. Big well done to Jason and uh, to Marion Thompson, the breeder. Uh, both Mr. Chetty's and... Uh, and hopes and dreams start my sponsor. Let's hope the confidence kicks on from here and we certainly wish you well with uh, Dal Sola. Thank you. Thank you so much to Tony. And now we have Lawrence. Now, is Lawrence the groom or is Lawrence representing the groom? You've got to tell us because we don't want the money ending up in the wrong place. Oh, yeah. 
Imaliya kaban? Imaliya, bigas wa ash. Uma dum nigas? Madalamiya. Madalamiya? Yes. I'm jealous ya bonga, I'm jealous to do so jabula nga enjoy Imaliya. All right, I'm jealous. All right, thanks, Lawrence. Thank you, sir. <laughs> a little bit of jostling going on here. That is uh, Madala who? Madala Mia. Madala Mia, wherever you are, sir. Uh, congratulations. Thank you so, so much. That is uh, race number three. Uh, very shy uh, Lawrence uh, representing Madala Mia. That is the man who looks after Dal Solo. That main is out of the way. Tony gives an impression this one won't stop yet. Do follow Dal Solo going forward, and uh, perhaps we can get some of our money back as the career continues.